Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Flakes BMW. Today we have this M135i X Drive five door hatchback. This car is finished off in mineral grey metallic and it's a brand new unregistered vehicle. It's a beautiful option selected on this particular car over the great standard specification, which I will run through with you now. Being the M Performance model, we've got the serum grey accents starting with the kidney grill there, the surround around the kidney grill and the little sort of details on the front there. I think it's a real nice contrast against the mineral grey. It's not massively standout-ish, but it's a real nice just little contrast. And you get that on the side vents there as well. This car also has the full Icon Adaptive LED headlights with the high beam assistance. So that's a system where it will adapt to your steering wheel inputs to brighten the road ahead. And then with the high beam assistance, automatically raise and lower the high beam, depending on cars around you, are you approaching cars, or you've got cars coming overhead, so you don't dazzle other oncoming traffic. Moving around, we've got the 19-inch double-spoke alloy wheel. It's beautiful bicolor finish. We've got this diamond-cut front, this polished front almost, and this jet black inlay, so it really makes the wheels pop and stand out, and really does emphasize the M Sport brake calipers there, the big blue brake calipers. They were obviously standard on the M135i. Moving around, the serum grey continues to the M badging there and also the mirror cap. So just tie in very nicely. Moving around the vehicle, we've got the sun protection glass, so that's the rear tinted windows. Obviously element of privacy there, but there's also UV element as well. So it does help keep the cabin a bit cooler on the hot days, as well as protecting the rear passengers from some of the harmful UV rays. The serum grey accents finished with the M135i badge and also the X-Dry badge there on the left. And then very finally, the exhaust tips, all finished off in that lovely serum grey finish. Going into the boot, just as I put underneath the rattle badge. That handy split way folding rear seats there. And also a really handy false floor. So not much of a lipper standard with that false floor in place. And what you can do is lift this false floor clips up and locks in and you increase your boot capacity by quite a large amount. Um, also the handy underneath storage as well. We've got the tire inflation kit there, toolkit and the first aid kit. So lots of different ways. Look at this. Moving around to the back of the car. Inside, we've got the black Dakota leather. We've got some nice grey contrast stitching as well, showing some of the details off. You can see it around the headrests there. We've also got the M stitching on the seat belt, which is a real nice finishing touch. That's on all five seat belts. We've got the Berlin interior trim piece finisher as well. I'll show you that on another door, but in better light. Rear passengers also have some ventilation controls there and a couple of USB charge points. Moving into the front of the car. And there we go, I'll show you the Berlin. This is the Berlin trim, two different finishes, Berlin and the Boston. This is the Berlin one. And this is obviously a part of the ambient lighting pack as well. Let me just get that in a bit better focus. There we go. And that also is on the centre part of the dash as well. This car also has the fantastic Harmony Carden multi speaker surround sound hi fi, that Dolby 7 system. Move around, we get to see the Fantastic detail of that stitching on the front seats. It's this new M Sport seat. Some beautiful support there, real lots of lovely detail. Real nice perforation running through the centre section as well. Stepping into the car. We're running the latest. Going to be live cop professional here. As you can see, I've not quite shut the boot properly, so we've got a little warning as soon as we get in. But let me start the car and fire it into life. There we go. Very configurable system, this new BMW Live Cop Professional. Lots of things you can adjust to give the information that you want to see. This car also really benefits as well from the head-up display option selected. So let me just get it to focus. There we go. So basically projects information on the windscreen. As standard, you'll have the speed you can see there sort of in the centre. And this car also has the speed limit display. 
speed limit display works in conjunction from the sat nav as well as a camera in the rear view mirror so it uses the sat nav as a base finger to work out the speed limit of the road and then the camera scans the road for any sort of alterations either average speed cameras road works things like that and then that will update that information just to keep you safe and any road restrictions as well car will then give you various bits of, bits of information as and when it deems it's important to so incoming call alert turn by turn information the navigation changing sort of audio controls that could be all projected on the windscreen keeps you focused on the road a lot safer and it's a lot less time on a long journey as well you don't have to refocus and look at the other displays which is really really good moving through the car we've got the OS7 operating system which is this new tile sort of like pages should I say sorry we've got these different bits of information here which you can customize to have different bits of information on which are relevant to you and your journey lots of different pages you can multiple pages we've just got three sort of default ones here and of course you can click on and enlarge things like the map for a bit more detail as and when needed that then expands and fills the full screen moving down this car has the dual zone climate control so I suppose from passengers here can get the car set up to the right temperature they want and freeway for heated seats all standard that equipment there so the audio controls there with the favorite buttons moving down this vehicle also benefits from the wireless charging pad so a really handy little place to slot your phone in there a little lip to hold it in place and that is wireless charging as well so if you've got a wireless charging capable phone keep your phone topped up also we have an additional usb port there and a 12 volt socket moving down we've got the try and trusted iDrive dial with the touchpad i love that way of connecting with the, the iDrive system uh, you can even use this touchscreen as I was using, and we do have the fantastic Hey BMW voice activation system as well. That's a fantastic manual automatic gearbox, it's got a full manual mode, so you can use the gear selector, all the paddles behind the steering wheel to choose basically, yeah, your, your gear manually. Different driving modes, the full automatic handbrake and auto hold functionality there. We've also got the park assist functionality, so that's the built in with the front of your park sensor it does have a rear camera but because i've not shut the boot properly that would normally come up on there uh, but with the park assist will also help you parallel park and park into bays have the full reverse assistant functionality as well in there finishing off the steering wheel this car also has the heated steering wheel option fantastic little feature in the winter so we've got the cruise control settings here speed limit control we have the audio options there on the right Hope this video has been of use. If there's any further information you need, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.